vlog today we're doing skin you're gonna wash your hands with soap and water deep action clean and clear because my face is probably dirty usually i start off by wiping it with uh, a cotton pad with um witch hazel but we're not doing that today so we're gonna start with that. Usually if I've taken off makeup and I'm doing skincare, I start off with this um, Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Face, Mat Face Milk Cleanser. And it looks like this or whatever. But we're not using that today. I'm gonna start with this. And it requires you to wet your face. So I'm gonna damp in my face and then rub this in, okay? that I have this on my face I'm gonna take my cleansing brush that I got from Walmart like eight dollars okay and I'm gonna put it on the low setting and I'm gonna wet it and then rub this in And you always want to get your neck, you know, just not skincare without getting your neck. Just rub all of this in across my forehead, under my... So next, we're going to rinse off our brush and then rinse off our face. But we're not going to dry it because... Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put on an oatmeal scrub mask and I'll show you that in a minute. So the oatmeal mask I am using is by St. Ives and it has the little um, scrub beads in it. And it's not good to use these because it causes like micro um scratches in your skin and in your face but i ain't know about that until like three years after i started using it so oh well so you just want to make sure your face is damp so it can form a mask and harden on your face oh so it's been 15 minutes I'm gonna take this again and rub this in to loosen it up as well because it is stuck. The next thing that we will be using is this black soap. Um this lady at the hair store was selling it one day and it makes your skin so soft but I'm gonna be using it to get like any excess of oatmeal scrub off my face because sometimes it's still be on there so I'm gonna use it for that purpose and then we're going back in with our cleansing brush again just to scrub that off in the face and then we're gonna wash it off the next step I usually do is I take this clean and clear morning brush that I put on my face but I'm not doing that today so we're just gonna skip to the last two steps I'm gonna spray my favorite hydrating spray Rose water by Mario Bedeskill, and I need some more because it's almost gone. But I just spray it all over my face, and I'm gonna let it dry. Now that that is fully dry, we're gonna go in with this skin food by Walita. I don't know how to say it. This is what it looks like. 
it comes in a bigger jar but my bestie faith gave this to me just to test it out and i like it because it's super hydrating and stuff because i have dry skin so this is like top notch but a little goes a long way because it's super hydrating so i'm just gonna take one dot of it and rub it all over my face and lastly, we're gonna hydrate our lips with my favorite, the um, Vaseline. Vaseline Lip Therapy, therapy in the pink one, it's the best. And just put that on our lips, like that. And boom, skin tone. Also, this is my daily like moisturizer that I use. Um, this Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream, cause you know this be a little dark, like some discoloration. So I use that every day, and at night when I get out the shower, I use this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair right here. Okay, and I like this cause it's super hydrating and yeah but that's my skincare routine like comment subscribe and tell me what other kind of videos you would like to see during this very awesome quarantine so yeah y'all have a great day